Hello everyone and welcome to the video for today. I printed the print sheet for today on paper and on grey cardstock. And now I am just cutting out uh, these uh, front and back images of the album and I am going to glue that onto the grey cardboard. These are uh, glossy images. Um, I tried to translate the Danish word for this um, to English, but it's not working. So here is a picture of what I'm thinking about. The Danish word translated once by once, it would be glossy images or gloss pictures. But when I am googling the word, uh, the right pictures are not coming up. So this is actually something from when I was a kid that you collected these pictures in a album. And here I am making the album for these uh, pictures. They were glossy and some of them had uh, glitter on there. So we will do that later with some glitter. So first the album. As you see, I glued it all on this piece of uh, gray cardboard. When the glue is dry, I am cutting out these uh, sections here I just showed you. Uh, so this are the inside of the album. So I am going to cut them out one by one. I have two different uh, sets of books here for these um, glossy images and I'm just taking some um, packing tape and placing that over the front and the back for some gloss just like you see me do right here and this is kind of difficult but it's working. Just placing it over like that and using my bone to uh, smoothen it really good out there and I'm doing that all three places then I am cutting out these uh, front and backs of the little book that we are making I have this uh, one millimeter hole punch and I'm punching out all the holes in the front, the backs, and the in-between sides of this book. This is actually taking some time. Make sure you're very precise when you're doing this. So this was the pages for the first book. Now I am doing the second book a bit different. I am placing all the pieces together as I want them and clamping them and then I am going to take my Dremel uh, my uh, Dremel tool here and I am using a very very thin drill for it and I'm just uh, making sure that I don't have too much speed on there before I'm drilling all the holes so I'm drilling these holes very careful and uh, straight up and down just take your time if you do it like this. Now I am using a knitting pin here and I'm winding up some wire around it for the um, for the spring in the back of these small books here. And when I have enough, I'm just cutting it off. So now I take it off my knitting pin and I am pulling it a tiny bit from each other so it's easier to work with. Don't pull it too much, just a tiny bit. Cutting off the end here so I have a neater working space. Making sure there is room for uh, my book uh, in this spiral. It is a spiral book we are doing right here. Right here. Then when I'm ready, I am just slowly popping in this spiral into the first holes of the book and then just guiding it around and into the next hole. I'm sorry you don't see that that good here on the picture, but it was uh, 
kind of difficult. So um, I was uh, really working in there and then I'm forgetting all about the camera, but I'm kind of uh, going from one hole to another, kind of screwing it up in the book and then just cutting the leftover off and uh, tightening the ends here so it won't uh, jump out again. And there we have the spinal book for the glossy images. You will find the print file in the info box below and I am going to uh, make a few more front and backs for you so you have a little more to decide between than these two Danish uh, versions. Here we have the glossy images and I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue on one of these and then some glitter over there to uh, make these glitter images that we can get as well. Now I am going to cut out these glossy pictures. You can either cut out the whole sheet uh, just very carefully following the lines of the picture around it or you can go and cut them out one at a time like I did with this one. And um, if you still don't know what this is, I will leave the Danish word right here. And then you can look that up and you will figure out very fast what it is. Maybe you don't have it where you live, but I know it's a Danish thing. And I've seen these in Germany as well. Um, but I don't know if other countries have this um, beside that. But here you have your very own little album with a few of them inside. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you again tomorrow. So all I have left to say is happy crafting.